Before you walk in the park, you met with a warning that Millennium Force is closed. That's messed up. That was the whole point of coming out here. It's the mother of all coasters in North America. So tall, it's equipped with a lightning rod and warning light for nearby aircraft. Its biggest hill is 310 feet, five feet taller than the tip top of the torch of the Statue of Liberty. Engineers keep busy to repair it, going up and down the same safety car that 30 employees had to use when they were stranded yesterday during a trial run. This is what happened. A cable that takes the train to the top of the hill broke, and that's when the safety mechanism that stops the car from rolling backwards kicked in. This is the equivalent of maybe driving down the highway and your fan belt on your car breaks. It's very unexpected. You're disappointed because your car is out of service for a couple days. The closing is a huge letdown, especially for out-of-towners who have endured a 23-hour train ride to get here. Uh, it kind of is bad that it's down because I bought him tickets to come here for his birthday and then we get here and it doesn't work. Well, her aunt lives just down the street from here and we came because they got the biggest roller coaster in the world and then it ends up going down the day we got here. So the lines are empty and no millennium today, but some coaster groupies took it in stride. Earlier this season, during the beginning of the season, we rode this uh, ride 22, 22 times. times in one day. Yeah. In less than four hour period. Yeah. After all, these two live in Cleveland and they have season passes and they'll be back here next weekend. Jonathan Costin, News Channel 5.